Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris. Um, Chris Bailey Music. Uh, I'm Chris, of course. And we have a simple little um, uh, practice session here on the cello. I wouldn't even say it's a lesson necessarily because I'm not going to go through so much how to do anything. Um, what I thought would be nice, especially you know when we're all stuck indoors these days, would be to have someone to practice along with. So this is a video that you can practice along with. It's an easy, simple beginning um, practice warm-up routine, something like I might do. And um, we're just going to run through a couple of scales and there are going to be um, a couple of little twists and turns. We're going to be um, we're going to be playing with different numbers of bows per note and we're also going to be incorporating some arpeggios as well in our playing. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to be doing um, and if you can hear this loud and clear on your end, then you don't necessarily need to do it, but it is a good idea to incorporate it to your own practicing, um, which is an app that I use uh, called Drone Tone, which gives us a keyboard and we can get a droning note in the background of what we're playing. Okay, you want to pick the note that reflects what key you're playing in, what scale you're playing. You can use this for playing pieces as well, and it helps us to uh, stay in tune around the note that we might think of as the tonal center of the piece or the scale that we're playing. And it helps us to develop our ear, and it also helps us to improve our intonation and playing in tune on the instrument. So, without further ado, uh, oh actually, and to not complicate things too much, I'm not going to use a metronome. We're just going to be kind of freestyling it a little bit with the tempo and, um, and away we go. We are going to start with a C major scale. Um, so get yourselves all set up um, and make sure that you can hear me uh, over um, and along with what you're playing. And I'm going to put my C drone on. Hopefully that's coming through loud and clear. I'll turn it up even a little bit more. And we're going to get in good position. By the way, I've done this so that I think um, beginner students can follow along. Uh, there are a few uh, um, little tricks, uh, as in playing three notes to a bow, that might be unfamiliar to a beginner, but uh, heck, that's something to work towards. Okay, I'm going to start out one note per bow, two octave C major scale. Our scale, two octaves. I'm going to repeat the C and come back down. to a bow. This one's a little bit strange. We are not going to repeat any notes. We're just going to go all the way up and all the way down smoothly and continuously.
four notes to a bow. three notes to a bow. G is because not everybody has a two octave D scale yet, um, but more of my students at least have a two octave G scale, so that's kind of what I'm doing this for. And so we'll go for G, and that'll be the last one. Let's do it. So there's my G drone. There it is. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. G scale, two octaves. Ready, and... Arpeggio. D major scale, but um, we're just going to do 
the one octave to keep it super easy. Uh, make sure everybody can play along. Uh, I know not everybody has that low octave of D major down yet with the extensions and such. Um, so we will just go for a standard one octave D scale, nice and easy. It's the first one we learned in the Suzuki books. D, F sharp, A. So there we have it. Listen, you can do that routine um, for all the scales you know. It doesn't matter what they are, just go for it. That was just an example. I'm not going to do every scale because not everybody's going to be able to play along. And the idea of this was it's a play along. I want everybody actually playing along with this. So um, do your best to try to keep up. Um, uh, if this is super easy for you, well, then it's too easy for you. And, um, and you might not need this video anyway, but it's still fun to play along with somebody. Um, uh, maybe I'll do more videos like this where I delve into other keys and other scales and other things that we can do to get warmed up. But on a beginner um, level, if you finish that warm up, now you're ready to go on and tackle whatever pieces and whatever songs you're playing. Okay, so have a great day, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.